Freedom of speech is free as long as you espouse liberal values. Have you got that? I almost want to say it again. You can talk freely as long as you say what they want you to say because we're too dumb to say things the way we want to say things. They take away our mind. That's what they try to do. They get in there and they freeze everything and say, hey, we want you to be like us. This is how we think we look. Arr, they make me mad. Steve King is a United States congressman from Iowa. Recently, he tweeted that he was in agreement with uh, Garrett, Garrett, uh, Wilders, Wilders, I can't talk, he's a right-wing extremist apparently, he's a candidate for the Dutch Prime Minister, and I think it came in third or something like that in any event. Uh, this congressman, Steve King, he says, you know what, it's not a bad idea to restore our civilization with somebody uh, else's babies. Not a good idea. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And, and many white Americans on some level privately think the same thing. He went on to say that back in 1965, more than 85% of America was white, whereas today it's about 58%. And he says in a couple of years, we'll be even less than that. And all the people who aren't white are prejudiced against us. He, he was expressing himself, okay? Subsequent to reading this, I've gone out and I've spoken to a lot of white people and says, how do you feel? And, and, and they kind of feel the same. They, they say, we don't hate anybody, but we're wondering why white liberals continue to bring in people who aren't white, particularly when we don't need the people because there's unemployment. We need to work ourselves. And, and it's quite an interesting kind of conversation. And, and then immediately, of course, you're called a bigot, the racist. And, and, and I said that to these people. Are you fearful of that? And they said, well, of course we are because people, you know, hurt us with all of that. And the truth is, is we have our little lifestyle going on here. And, and there's that 8% unemployment in my region and 6% over here in something somewhere else. And they continue to bring other people in from other countries who aren't white. They don't share our values. And, and, and and we're called names if we express our feelings. And, and so this congressman, Steve King, has kind of hit a nerve, and I found it kind of interesting to do a little follow-up on that. Okay, in 2016 in America, there were 50.4 million students in public schools. The number of transgender children in, you know, out of the 54 million, uh, well, there's no data or uh, measure at all to find out how many there are about 0.06% of US adults identified themselves as transgender and, and they say it's such a small number in schools that they can't even come up with that number and you have to get all these liberal guys out building bathrooms and doing all these other things I find that kind of interesting you know what um, the media <laughs> that's got a lot to do with the transgender thing can destroy common sense and firstly good sense ain't common anyway not many people have good sense but in any event back to that again the objective I believe of the mainstream media is is to destroy our senses common good or otherwise here's a guy his name is general G-I-A-P. We'll go with that. He was a brilliant, highly respected leader of the North Vietnam military. And he had this quote from his memoirs that were recently found in Hanoi with regards to the Vietnam War. What we still don't understand is why you Americans stopped the bombing of Hanoi. You had us on the ropes. If you had pressed us a little harder just for one more day, we were ready to surrender. It was the same uh, as other battles uh, in other years gone by. I mean, you had defeated us. We knew it, and we thought, of course, that you knew it. But your media helped us. They helped us every hour, every day. They were causing more disruption in America, in your country, than we could ever cause in the battlefields here in Vietnam. We were ready to surrender. You had won. The Vietnam War was not lost in Vietnam, it was lost in America. That's a slippery slope. I mean, and this is from one of their generals. Hey, think about that for a while. That kind of gives you a headache. Hey, y'all come back. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.